what do we already know about depression? We know what it looks like, and some of us know what it feels like. We know that it can be dangerous if left untreated, but we also know that it can be treated successfully. But where does it come from? One common explanation for depression is having a chemical imbalance, but a recent study published in Molecular Psychiatry stated there isn't clear evidence of the two being related. There are several other theories that may describe causes of depression. Some of them focus on life events, some focus on changes inside the body, but one thing is for sure. If you understand what caused you to fall into the depths of depression, you have a much better chance of gaining control of it. To help you in your journey, here are four alternative explanations for depression. Let us know which one describes you in the comments below. Trigger warning, we mentioned unaliving briefly in the third point. We've put timestamps in the description, so we can skip that point if you'd like. Disclaimer, depression is a serious mental illness if untreated. If you feel you or a loved one may be showing signs of depression, please contact a mental health professional. Number one, the day it all changed. One night, Bruce Wayne and his parents were walking in an alley from their night at the theater. That night, well, I think we all know what happened in that night, but because of it, Bruce became Batman. Just like a call to justice, depression can sometimes be caused by major life events. Let's take starting a new school or a university, for example. This is a brand new stage of life which brings a lot of new challenges. According to a research article published in BMC Public Health, it's important to note how students perceive those challenges. Are they able to manage the demands of everyday life? Can they meet their personal goals or resist peer pressure as well as academic or financial pressure? If the answer is no to most of these questions, it's possible the student isn't adapting well and could possibly be showing early signs of depression. Some other examples of major life events can be moving away, starting a new job, starting a family, or losing a loved one. Going through a major life event and not knowing how to navigate the changes can cause you to get overwhelmed and fall into depression. Was there a time in your life when something big changed, and as a result you felt sad or depressed, but it lingered? That major life event might be the cause. Number 2. Self-Isolation The Greek philosopher Aristotle described humankind as social animals. As such, we are unable to live isolated from others. Aristotle's theory is echoed in modern day too. Julianne Holt Lundstedt, a professor of psychology and neuroscience at Brigham Young University, says that being connected to others socially is widely considered a fundamental human need, crucial to both well-being and survival. A 2020 study published in the medical journal The Lancet shows that even small periods of isolation can have long-term effects of psychiatric symptoms, including depression. Can you think of anything that happened recently that forced everyone to isolate on some level? If you said the recent COVID-19 pandemic and quarantine, you'd be correct. A research study published in Brain Science found that social isolation and social dissatisfaction were associated with greater depressive symptoms during the pandemic lockdown. How did you handle being isolated from others during the pandemic? Did you enjoy the alone time or perceive it as loneliness or solitude? If you said the latter, this could be the cause for your depression. Number three, an important mineral. Researchers believe that magnesium plays a critical role in brain function, mood, and psychiatric disorders. In a recent 2020 paper, scientists explained how magnesium is essential for correct functioning of the central nervous system. A research study published in Journal of Affective Disorder found reduced levels of magnesium in those who have unalived themselves. Low magnesium levels are also found in anxious individuals. Dr. Tracy Marks, a psychiatrist, calls this relationship a loop that feeds on itself. Stress lowers your magnesium levels, and low magnesium levels further increase your stress, making you feel more anxious and depressed. Do you think you might be magnesium deficient? If so, please talk to your doctor. They will be able to run blood tests and suggest further steps in your treatment. 4. It's a gut feeling. Have you ever had to run to the bathroom on the night before an important exam? Or saying you're sick to your stomach when anxious? What about feeling butterflies in your stomach when you're falling in love? These examples illustrate how your stomach is connected to your brain and your emotions, something scientists call the gut-brain axis. Austin Perlmutter, a doctor of internal medicine, said for Fortune.com that, the food that you eat has a direct effect on your brain function. A bad diet can cause an imbalance of bacteria in the gut, which is associated with inflammation. A study published in the journal, Current Neuropharmacology, shows that inflammation can negatively affect mood and cause mental health problems. What does this all mean? 
Your gut is a direct elevator to the brain. When your gut bacteria is off, it can be the cause of your brain's neurotransmitters being off and causing mental illnesses like depression. Alas, there's hope. A recent 2022 study found that using good bacteria and probiotics can act as a great addition to traditional treatment of depression. If you think this is the reason for your depression, make an appointment with your doctor to discuss your symptoms and next steps. It's important to note that a person rarely becomes depressed because of one single reason. Most of the time, depression can be from a combination of factors. And there are many more possible causes that we didn't cover in this video. Should we make a part two? Whatever the cause may be, we strongly encourage you to seek treatment if you're feeling unhappy. This is important because it will allow them to create the best possible treatment plan that will work for you specifically. Whatever it is that you need, you deserve to get that help. Do you think there's something else that might be making you depressed? Share it with us in our community. We'll be happy to listen. Until next time.